clearing a spot for mulberry. Mulberry tree. Got the old I got the two. And uh, that was kind of the weeds growing around. Mix those in there. And yeah, this is a mix peat moss. This is an old mix peat moss and uh, compost manure. Uh, and this is actual manure. Uh, they weren't selling this at the time. And then some fertilizers, uh, time release. Kind of do up uh, some more mixes, you know. Circle of rocks. Uh, bunch of greens. Some of this stuff with some fresh goodies in there. Uh, some fertilizers and then some more greens, you know, layering it in there. Uh, take the pot, you know, set it in there, you know, just the ball of dirt, you know, and then keep building up around that little pot, you know. So it'll be like maybe six inches of new material and put in the pot. I'm also gonna put in that blackberry. I'm throwing this blackberry uh, in here. And then just kind of build it up, you know, building up the rocks as I build it up, you know. So this is the thing. Yeah, I just pulled out that one right there. A nice little. Where is it? It's here, but I can't see it. Oh, it's just in the glare of the sun. Nice fat slug. And this is the interesting thing. A bunch of eggs. I don't know if those are slug eggs. I mean, it definitely looks like it's the slugs, kind of right there is this little slime home. A big pile of eggs, and it's like, well, so there's the mommy. Where's the daddy? Go over here. Where is it? Got another one. Maybe this is the daddy. Going out and getting some food. Yes, it's, yeah, like a, there's like, you know, I did the It's a similar process. I put down a bunch of green material, and then the stuff on top. Kind of that, you know, these green materials, you know, break down, provide, you know, nitrogen over time, you know, as they decompose and all that, and kind of give the roots more to feed off of. Yeah, well, here, so here's the uh, uh, onion bulbs that were in this one. Uh, I'm going to replant those onion bulbs, you know, around the tree, under the tree, once it's in there, you know, uh, put some garlics in this one, you know, I got, uh, actual store-bought, I think it's, I don't know, hard, hard neck, soft neck, I can't remember which one I got, uh, plant some of those cloves, you know, one clove, plant some cloves over in those planters as well. I just want to show the slug eggs. I've never seen a slug egg before, but that looks like slug eggs to me. Manure. Aged. Peat moss. And the compost manure mix. Mix these together. Build up another layer. Spread it, gave it uh, some more of that uh, sprinkle fertilizer, watered it, got the mulberry, thornless blackberries just resting on top. That was like half of those, third of that. <clears throat> now we mix up the rest of those things, top it off. And then rewater it. <laughs> got the thornless blackberry. Yeah, you know, spindly and all that jazz. So I'm just wrapping it around. Kind of the way 
uh, normal blackberries work. I don't know if you know this being like a hybrid. I don't know if it'll work. But where it meets the ground, it should put in some roots and kind of create a new plant. So it'll just be kind of fill up this, you know, base with you know new blackberry plants. Uh, and then once the tree gets tall enough, I'll take of those plants when it gets overcrowded, putting them other places. Uh, when the tree gets tall enough to start, you know, kind of. You know, just letting it be like just a big overgrown kind of mess that's kind of going into the tree trunk area. Uh, it's got the onions that were in that one bed. Uh, it's kind of, I'm going to bury them down a couple inches, two or three inches. You know, this will uh, you know, compact over time. Uh, so, you know, three inches will eventually be two inches. Uh, two inches, like one inch, something like that. Uh, then I got a, a soft neck garlic. Took one clove, kind of, you know, or one bulb. And, you know, I've got the cloves arranged. So I'm going to bury the, you know, and, uh, building the soil up. Uh, you know, each little one inch layer watered it. You know, probably ended up being 10 gallons of water I put on this thing. Uh, and then here's the top layer. Once I get these things buried. And then, like, over each layer of, like, the peat moss, sprinkling the uh, fertilizers. Uh, you know, the peat moss is, like, carbon or something. You know, not much nutrition there. Uh, but it should break down into something nice. Uh, but then the uh, fertilizers, you know, as they break down, they'll just soak right into that. And it'll just stay in this zone, you know, rather than get washed out. You know, that's kind of the general thought, you know. Uh, yeah, once I get those buried, though, give it a final sprinkling of the fertilizers. And then a final watering, and she should be good.